it is Monday, 1st of April. Um, April Fool's Day, I hope I don't get pranked. Um, I am just on my way to the Adelphi where we are meeting and we are all getting an Uber over to uh, the location we're going to be shooting in a hostel in the northern quarter for the next two days. We're sleeping over tonight, so that should be fun. Or disastrous, I don't know, we'll see. Hello, it's Tuesday. Uh, we are in the hostel. We shot here all of yesterday. Uh, we slept over last night, which is really good fun. Very sensible, very sensible, mature, careful fun. Uh, but no, it was nice. So we're just about to start the first scene. Um, and yeah, very excited to keep filming on all the dorm scenes. It's very loud over there, but it's not so bad in the room, so it should be good. Shot one, take two. Yeah, I'll take that. Woo! Yeah. Lucky 50! Yeah. Yeah. Saturday, it is the 4th of May, and I'm just heading to the Adelphi to do our ADR session for a natural selection. Well, the camping, curfew soon. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just don't want to pop that either, you yeah? know? Yeah, no, I know, but if I'm full on, like, uh, uh, Sunday, the 5th of May, 5th of May, oh my god, we've been doing this project for such a long time. So yesterday I was in the voice acting studio in Adelphi doing our ADR session for a natural selection and it was really good fun. I mean, I, I love voice acting anyway. I've done uh, all the radio modules for the past like three years um, and it's something I really enjoy so I had that base of like my technique and, and all that anyway, so I think that made it a little bit easier for me. But at the end of the day, ADR is difficult and it's annoying. Um, it's tricky to get your performance to the level it was while also 
doing something so technical and trying to match exactly the intonation and the pace at which you said something, but also feel it in the same way that you were feeling it before um, in a very artificial environment and, and you're so focused on the technical aspects that it's difficult to concentrate on the performance as well and it, it is tricky. I, you know, I did the best that I could with it. I hope it ends up sounding good. I heard some of the playback and I was reasonably happy with it. Um, I think obviously if we'd had a longer session and I had been able to do more takes and stuff I think that would have been beneficial but we were under time pressure. A lot more dialogue than I was expecting had to be replaced as well so that's slightly concerning. I'm sure it's all gonna be fine. Um, Adam's really really good with sound, that's his whole speciality so I'm sure him and Ryan um, who are the editors are gonna make it like sound really good and all match up. I have complete faith. I just have complete faith in our entire production team really. We got really lucky on this one with like um, how jobs were allocated and stuff. I feel like everyone's really playing to their strengths on this one, more so than the last. So I'm finished now, essentially. We have the screening on, um, I don't know what day. I think it's next Friday or the Friday afterwards. Um, but I'm essentially done. I just need to finish um, writing my critical analysis and upload my uh, character backstory, which is written, <laughs> but I completely forgot that I needed to put on Padlet. I th the reason this vlog is going up so late is because I know we could only have three per film and I really wanted to have a post-production one as well, so I'm shoving um, the last week of filming and this sort of together because they were both short little bits. It's funny reflecting on this project as a whole. I don't know if I can really reflect on it as a whole because the two films, like the experience of making them has been so vastly different and I have already talked sort of about um, my feelings on just business and, and all of that and I'll talk more about that in my, um, in my evaluation. But overall I've just had such a positive experience on this film. I think Emma Rose is just one of the best directors I've ever worked with. She's really on the ball, she's so chill. And it was just a pleasure to get to focus solely on acting as well for this one, which is obviously the thing that I'm trying to focus on the most. Like, you know, I have an agent and stuff now and um, auditioning for things and, and performing and things uh, sort of in a, in a more professional way. So to get to just focus on that was really, really just delightful. I think every new project you work on, you learn something new because it's always a different, like it's a different group and it's a different set of circumstances. Um, so in terms of what I've learned on this particular project, um, I mean you always learn about teamwork. I think you learn about teamwork differently, like depending on what team you're on. It's like it's always, there's always going to be new challenges with new people and stuff and, and different ways that people gel. A really interesting challenge performance wise was uh, just like keeping emotional and like physicality continuity um, throughout the film because obviously we weren't shooting things in, we were shooting things in order when it was possible to but generally it wasn't possible to and with a character like Tristan who who has a very particular energy and, and is very very up and, and very uh, tense a lot of the time it was it was a really interesting challenge to kind of uh, chart those levels and make sure I was coming into each scene at the level that you know I went out of the previous scene or like dependent on what has happened in that interstitial cut where you haven't seen her. Um, it, it was really interesting to, to chart that sort of emotional journey for that character and a character who like is on screen quite a bit but doesn't have that much dialogue and isn't super involved in the narrative, is just sort of there. Um, I don't know what that sound was. But that was a really interesting challenge. I found that very intriguing to just have that awareness of, okay, where am I emotionally now? Where am I physically now? Um, how, how am I changing in this scene and, and what am I bringing into the next one? Which uh, is so different to stage, obviously, because on stage, you know, you just go through it sequentially and, and that kind of becomes second nature. But when you're jumping around and chopping and changing and 
Obviously we were very lucky in pre-production to get to do a lot of character work with our writer and our director. Um, so that was really good and we did get to rehearse scenes and stuff and, and run through dialogue. But generally speaking, in film you're not going to get a lot of rehearsal time. Um, so it was really interesting to learn that you know you have to do that work yourself and you need to like put in all these hours to like make sure you are super secure in your journey even if, even if people aren't seeing it because Tristan is is by no means like the center of attention I I think there's lots of things that I was like focusing on and putting into it that probably no one will notice but that's kind of fun in a way as well like I feel like I fleshed out that character to the best of my ability and and Tristan feels very real to me as a person so it was interesting to like explore that journey explore who that character is um, even if no one's really gonna notice or care um, but yeah definitely one of the most fun characters I've ever played all the physical all the physical stuff was was just so much fun it was so it, it was challenging and, and it was a little bit stressful but it was so much fun it's obviously tricky to reflect on it though because I haven't seen the film yet um, I haven't seen any of them yet and it's difficult to sort of analyse what you did without seeing the end result but overall I'm feeling very positive about my contribution um, I hope it all looks good on screen I, at the end of the day I think I did the best I could have done and I trust the editors to sort of pick the stuff that works best and, and make us all look good but I think the biggest thing I've learned this year, and not even necessarily on this particular film, but just in general this year, is just to kind of get rid of a lot of that vanity, because I was in two, I, I did my own PRP obviously, but I was in two other people's PRPs as well that I was acting in, but I had literally no creative control over at all. Um, and to see them like on the big screen, when we did the screening in, in the Adelphi Theatre and sort of have that wincing moment of going oh I wouldn't have chosen that take for me or oh I knew I did that better in a different take and why have they picked that one and oh why have they picked that angle oh god I look awful oh um I think that was a really good experience actually because it kind of made me go okay do you know what that essentially had nothing to do with me I have done my job I've completed my bit um I've given as much as I could on the day and what the director and the editor and all of them choose to then like use and put on screen even if it like for personal reasons makes me cringe has nothing to do with me and you just need to like step away and go those are the creative decisions that those people have made and get over yourself basically um, I think that was really important to learn so I feel like going into the screenings for these I'm going to be a lot less self-conscious just because at the end of the day I, kn I know that I did the best that I could have done and whatever ends up on screen it's it's going to be whatever they want and it might not be what I would have chosen it might not be the direction that I would have went with personally if I had creative control over it but learning how to just be relaxed and give up that control and just like let someone else be in charge I think is a really valuable skill to have in life um, and especially in this industry where a lot of the time everyone wants to have an opinion and everyone wants to be in charge and everyone thinks they know best and it's even if you do feel like that on the inside it's important to learn how to just give that up and just go yeah you know what your vision you're in charge let's just do it um even even when you 100% don't agree with it which is, is what happened a lot on the first film. You know. But I'm just really excited to see the films. I'm excited that we're done. It's all very strange. Um, but yeah, that was Video Project 2019. Um, if I was good at editing, I would put a graphic in there, but I am not good at editing, which is why I did not edit. But I'm really proud of what we achieved. Even if the films turn out awful, I'm really proud of what we achieved and I think at the end of the day that's the most that you can hope for at the end of a project so I'm happy um yeah cool done bye